Hi, my name is Tim, and today we're going to talk about measuring some wood. Specifically, in our situation, it's, it's wood for a cabinet. Now, we've done several other videos about measuring building materials, and we've talked about averaging um, to account for the color variation that exists in various materials. And many times we want to do that with wood as well. But in some cases with wood, we're looking for a specific part of the color of the sample. Um, for example, on this one, you can see we've got some very light and dark areas where the grain is running and this very wide swatch that's got no real grain in it, kind of the heartwood, I think, of this, of this wood. That's what I'm interested in measuring. So let's go ahead and put our sample up to the benchtop instrument. Our benchtop instrument has a camera in it, and you can see on screen right now that I have it positioned in a spot where we can see some of the grain. And the beauty of this camera is that I can slide over. I can find that defined area I'm looking for with no grain. Whoops, went too far. Come back just a little bit. There we are. Go ahead and let the plunger sit there and hold it in place. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my measurement. I'm not going to average, so I'll set it to one. And take that single measurement into the software. It gets saved and we can see um, right away, indeed, that thing passed. We notice up here, one of the really nice features here is that image that I used to guide me where I measured, I can capture that. And so what happens then, I'll go ahead and show you, is that in, not only is the measurement data for this trial stored here and, and available to me, but at any time I want, I can just right click on the trial, go to its properties, and go to image and see the image of what it is I measured. Gives you a great audit trail, helps you identify specifically where you measured this um, in, in materials like wood or sometimes with stones, marble, um, granite, those kinds of things. You're looking for a specific area. This allows you to capture that very nicely and assure you know where the measurement was taken.